Hey guys, you might have already seen our previous video discussing exactly what this channel is going to be all about, but just in case you haven't, I want to give you a quick overview to kind of discuss and get you started. So basically what we're doing is we're jumping through the entire Klipsch Heritage line. We're starting with the Heresy 4s that you see here. We're going to go on to the Fortes, the Cornwalls, the Lascalas, the K-Horns, all the way up to the Jubilees. In addition to these unboxing videos, we are also going to dive into the history of these products. We're going to show you where they came from and the original design intent and kind of how they came to be where they are today. After that, we are going to do some side-by-side -side A-B comparisons. So if you're on the fence as to whether to go with the Heresies of Fortes, Fortes, Cornwalls, Cornwalls, Escalas, and so forth, we hope to make that decision a little bit easier for you and kind of go over the pros and cons of each design. Please be sure to like and subscribe below so you can be the first to know as soon as these videos release. All of that said and out of the way, today we're going to be unboxing the Klipsch Heresy 4. The Klipsch Heresy 4 comes in black ash, natural cherry, walnut, and distressed oak. Today we're going to be covering the black ash and the natural cherry. We'll get to that natural cherry here in a little bit, but without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive into the unboxing of this black ash here. Now, you always want to be careful when cutting into a box like this because you never know what the company is going to put right on top. Klipsch does an excellent job of packing these, so you don't have to worry about damaging the product. But even still, you want to kind of hold your knife a little bit sideways and be careful in opening it up. The first thing that we are going to see when we open up this package is a black folder. First off, we have some speaker feet. The next item is just some more details about the grill itself and how to care for it. Next you'll find a little bit of unpacking instructions. Basically what this sheet says is on the back of the grill there are little rubber washers to protect the grill during shipping. These are not part of the grill or the speaker and you're going to want to go ahead and remove these when unpacking the speaker. Next we have a congratulations on your purchase letter. And finally the Klipsch Heresy Owner's Manual. I'm going to go ahead and put all this away and then pack it up to the side and then we can move on to the part you've all been waiting for, the actual unpacking of the speaker itself. As you can see here, there is a layer of foam on the top of the speaker. So there's extra protection so you don't have to worry as much about cutting the speaker when you open it. You do have two options when you're unpacking these speakers. The first option, the option that I'm doing right now, is to go ahead and remove this piece of styrofoam. As you can see, the bottom of the speaker is on the top of the box. So when you remove this foam first, what you'll want to do is set this off to the side. One key note to unpacking this way is you always want to have a hand on the speaker because there is about four to six inches of space where the styrofoam was that as we flip this, it could possibly drop the speaker and damage the base. So what you're going to want to do is start flipping. Keep your hand on the speaker, flip the speaker up so that it's sitting on its base and go ahead and remove the box. I know you guys are anxious to see what's underneath this plastic, but I'm going to leave you in suspense just a little bit longer because we have one more Black Ash Heresy to unbox. The first time we removed the styrofoam first. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to leave the styrofoam in the box. This tends to protect the speaker just a little bit better, but it involves a little bit more coordination to get the bottom piece of foam off of the speaker after you've removed it from the box. All right, let's get to unpacking the second Black Ash Heresy 4. I'm going to flip it with the styrofoam inside of the box and then I'm going to pick up the speaker to remove the bottom foam. So you don't have to be as careful about leaving your hand on the bottom of the box as you're pulling it out. All right, guys, without any further delay, let's see what's under here. This is the Heresy 4 in black ash. Even though it is a black speaker, you could still see every little bit of the wood grain and every little detail that went into making these speakers. Now, if you remember earlier, the first thing that it says to do when you unpack these speakers is to remove the grill and flip it around and you'll notice these four black washers. These are just to protect the grill while it's in shipping. So you can go ahead and remove these washers and set them off to the side here because we will not be needing those. And then you can put the grill right back on and we'll talk a little bit more about what's underneath that grill here in just a little bit. The first thing that's going to catch your eye when you unbox these Heresy 4s is the brand new updated aesthetics from the third to the fourth generation in Heresy. First off, we have the brand new Heresy logo. This is to fit it more in line with the rest of the Heritage Line products. Next, you'll notice it does have a thinner bezel around the edge of the product. It's also a taller, thinner design than the previous generation and sits on top of a brand new redesigned riser base. When you turn this guy around, 
You'll notice the brand new brushed aluminum input panel. When you take it out of the box, these jumpers are in place, but they are removable for bi-amping. Now I did have to mention the input cup first because we were discussing the cosmetics of the product, but arguably the biggest change from the third to fourth generation of this product is the addition of the brand new Tractrix port. This is a game changer for these speakers because the previous generations, as you guys all probably know, have been sealed boxes. Now, if we switch over to the front of the unit, I'm gonna pull off the grill and we can discuss some of the other changes. One noticeable update when you pull off the grill is there is a brand new phase plug on the high frequency driver and the mid-range has been updated to the K702 mid-range driver. That about wraps the unboxing of the Black Ash Heresy 4. Let's go ahead and get these guys off the table and let's see what the natural cherries look like. So here we have the natural cherry. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous speaker. Before I preferred the black, but taking a look at this, I might change my mind. This is, this is beautiful. So I'm gonna turn these to the side here so you can kind of get a better look at the overall image here. So absolutely gorgeous design. There's almost kind of like a separate shine nature to it. They they almost sparkle a little bit, kind of a separate sheen. When the light hits them just right, they just, they just pop. All of that said, we did already cover the majority of the speaker here, but I'm just gonna give a brief synopsis. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this guy on the back and show you the front of this one over here. Today we covered the unboxing of the Black Ash and Natural Cherry Heresy 4. The new generation has the brand new brushed aluminum input cup, the brand new Tractrix port, the brand new phase plug, and the brand new K702 mid-range driver. Cosmetically has the brand new logo, the slimmed out bezel, the brand new riser base, as well as the thinner, taller design. I think that about covers the unboxing of the Heresy 4s. Next week, we're going to dive into a little bit of heresy history. From there, we're going to unbox the Fortes and cover a little bit of history there as well. And then we're going to pit the heresies up against the Fortes and see how they stack up. So if you're on the fence as to whether to go with the heresies or the Fortes, make sure you like and subscribe below to be the first to see it when that new video releases. And as always, to get your very own pair of Heresy 4s or anything else in the Heritage line, be sure to check out Paducah Home Theater for all of your home theater needs.